5432. Hey guys, this is JM and welcome back to my channel. And in today's video, we'll talk about ROM. What is ROM? Hmm. Many of you guys maybe um, ask about madali lang ba magpakasal dito or is it very expensive? Ano yung mga process, mga ganon? To answer all of those questions, let's talk about it one by one. Step one, all you need to do is file a notice of marriage through online. So the website is www www.rom.gov.sg yeah, so, www Hey guys, so this is how it looks like filing a notice of marriage through online. So go to your Google and then search www.rom.government.sg and ta-da! So this is how it looks like inside the website. Go to services. So ito yung file notice of marriage. Click natin yan. And then please read through all the points from 1 to 13 para aware tayo kung ano yung pinapasukan natin. In this website, you can also see if how much yung babayaran nyo, which is number 7, fees payable. Please see the schedule of marriage license fee payable. So click here for the hyperlink. Tada! So at least one S pink or S blue. Ito yung mga ano to, locals. Ito lang yung payment na babayaran nila, which is forty two dollars. And for us foreigners, we need to pay three hundred eighty dollars per couple. Point number. Five, solemnization venue. So, if you're thinking regarding about ano yung mga availability slots ng ROM, you can click here. So, at least you can plan your wedding day. So, as you can see here, this color is fully booked. And from October to December, fully booked na siya. So, kung may plano kayong magpakasal this year, it's already fully booked. And it's only open for next year in a slot, as you can see here. And then, we also need to declare this letters over here. Click Agree. So guys, this is the first page of File Notice of Marriage. And this is the step one. So please fill in yung mga kailangan na details na i-declare. Once you submit, you'll get to step 2, 3, 4, and 5. But mostly, this page are just the details na mga kailangan. So guys, actually, just wanna share with you na talagang alam nyo yun, um, it's very simple lang kung ano yung requirements ng ROM um, or tourist. Yeah. So all you need to bring is your passport. And second thing is your SPAS. SPAS, EPAS, work permit. Yeah. So yun lang. And then all you need to do is pay them and that's it. Voila! <laughs> so step two is they will email you back regarding about kung kailan kayo magpapasa ng mga requirements document, a physical document dun sa ROM mismo. And then also guys, um, in the email, they will actually give you the date na kailangan yung pumunta doon to declare all the physical documents. And if I'm not wrong, um, bawal siyang i-cancel or i-move na date. So, kailangan nyo talaga siyang atenan. So, step 3. So, ito yung step 3 na to is ito yung appointment na nag-email sila sa atin. And we need to bring along all the documents na kailangan nila. So, based on my experience, nung pumunta kami ni Carl doon sa ROM mismo, mismo doon sa ROM mismo, 
mabilis lang actually yung process because they have their own queue numbers lang. But ah, bilis lang. Siguro mga ano, nasa mga less than 30 minutes tapos na kami. So, we actually present all the documents and then also yung physical na passport tsaka pass namin. Pinakita din namin. And then, we just need to read all throughout yung ano nila. Yung parang details na kailangan namin ano, basahin. Kasi nga, ikakasal, ganun. And then, ano din, parang interview lang din kami, konti, regarding about us. And are we sure about it? And the marriage is not that easy. Something ganun. Yeah. <laughs> As I recall. Yeah, ganun. Then after all the talks, you just need to sign. Parang ano lang siya, declaration again. So yeah, after ng pirmahan, that's it. Sabi niya, you're just gonna wait for the wedding day. Yay! The wedding day. Oh my god. Okay. So, ito guys, chika lang. On the day of the wedding, it's actually very quick, no? Kasi, ang bilis lang. Ang bilis, sobra. Parang siguro not less than 15 minutes, tapos na kami. And, of course, ang dami kasing tao din sa glabas na gusto magpakasal. So, I think the judge, I think the judge or the lawyer, I think it's, she's a lawyer. I think so. Yeah, I think she's a lawyer. So, this attorney is very funny because, alam niyo yun, parang pinapasit down kami lahat. Sit down, sit down, sit down, ganun. Kasi nga, lahat kami nakatayo. Kasi nga, late kami, dumating dun. Oh my God. Yeah. Tapos, tamang-tama naman sa oras. On the dot naman. Kaso nga lang, alam niyo yung parang nagpapanik na ano ba, ganito, ito na yun, ganyan. And then, also, nagsiset up pa kami ng camera, ganyan. It was just a very funny moment, yung mga ganun. Parang siyang principal. <laughs> principal na ano, na pinapagalitan kami yung mga bata. <laughs> na, umupo kayo, kaya yan. Uh, that moment as well is a very magical moment. Kasi nga, um, we have our friends there to support us. And we even have our families over there. Ano lang, true video call. But that kind of moment was very priceless. Even though na malayo sila you can still feel their presence. Yung sigawan nila <laughs> when they say um, kiss the bride. Oh my god. Everyone like, woo! <laughs> and me, myself as well, is just overwhelmed of all the things going on in our surroundings, no? Kasi nga, nakikita namin sa phone yung mga hiyawan, ganyan.
by the way, natataranta din kami kasi nga, ano, yung photographer. Kasi we hired a photographer. Um, I actually search I actually search him lang in one of the websites kasi nga nagre-research ako. We hired him on the day itself to take photos yung kung ano mga ganap. So yun, isa yun, nakabado ako kasi nga naghihintay siya doon and mas nauna pa siya kaysa sa amin. <laughs> si Kuya Manggood, katong driver, katong driver na nag-taxi mi ba, layo kayo yung giagian. As in, ang layo ng ano, dinaanan niya guys papuntang ano, ROM. Kaya kami na late. Honestly speaking lang ha. Kasi, Actually, our friends, we booked two taxi. And then, sabay lang kami. Actually, medyo sabay lang kami nag, ano, na sumakay ng taxi. And then, mas nauna pa sila. And then, it takes a while talaga na kami dumating doon. As in, kahit sila nagsabi sila, bakit ang tagal nyo ganito-ganyan? <laughs> Pero kasi yung driver, ano, machika. Kaya, dinadaldal pa niya. Pero ako, of course, as a bride, tense na tense na akong, shh, anong oras na? Ganon. <laughs> Ganun yung feeling ko kasi kabado din ako. But, of course, Carl is coming me down. Chill ka lang. Yeah, dadating tayo dun on time. But yes, we did it on time. We actually arrived there on time. But, yun nga lang, aligaga kami lahat. Ganyan, ganyan. Kasi nga, I think, um, after namin dumating dun, I think, 3-5 minutes kami na. So, yun. Just is very funny, ano lang. Funny story lang sa wedding day namin. Ang daming mga hiccups, but at the end of the day, we're married! <laughs> also guys, diba, nag-hire kami ng photographer and I can totally recommend him because he was such a very patient guy and he's very nice guy as well and yung mga shoots niya, alam niya mismo kung saan mismo kayo, ano, uh, pupwesto not unlike yung mga ibang photographers na nag-iisip pa. Siguro because forte niya talaga yung area na yon kasi nga ano siya photographer talaga siya ng ROM. Something ganun. I think so. Yeah, kasi nakita ko yung name niya sa mga ROM sites kanya. And also guys, regarding about the payment, um if you're actually a local dito ka nakatera, all you need to pay is $42 lang. Oh my God. $42, magkano ba? So, nasa mga $1,470 pesos lang yung babayaran mo. Ikakasal ka na. God, diba? And then also, for us, as a foreigners, we actually paid $380. So, $380 times 35 is $13,300. Oh my God. Actually, mahal yun na. I just never thought of it on that day na nagbayad ako. <laughs> yeah. Kasi di ko kasi alam kung magkano yung ano eh. Magkano ba yung bayad if sa atin, sa Pinas, pag civil. I'm not so sure if how much. But just to clarify it, $380 and then yung documents lang na kailangan natin i-present is yung pass or yung passport. Diba? Yun lang yun eh. Diba? So, for me, worth it na yun, di ba? For $380, tapos kasal na. Rather than in Philippines, ang dami pa talagang documents na kailangan nating ipasa, di ba? It's like, um, if I'm not wrong, I heard lang ah, I heard lang. Na kung ikakasal ka sa Pinas, it's either um, sa churchman or huwes. It's the same ano pa din, it's the same uh, requirements. So, alam niyo yun, parang, eh, what's the point? <laughs> So dito, nabigla lang kami and then we're actually like amazed about it. Kasi nga, yun lang yung dadalhin mo. So as long as you're 21 years old above and then you're just gonna bring along your passport and your pass and the money which is the $380, yun lang, di ba? Kakasag ka na! Di ba? Amazing lang! Wow! So guys, this video is just um, information, informative para sa inyong lahat. And also, this is just based on my experience. And I just wanna share it with you guys kung paano namin pre-nasses yung mga documents. So, so, please take note, this is very important. After nyo ikasal sa ROM, automatically um, yung paper mahan pala nyo is your marriage contract na kaagad yung release nila kagad sa inyo. And please, please, please take note na kailangan pa din natin siya i-declare sa Philippine Embassy para i-register sa Philippines. Because if I'm not wrong, um, may validity lang na certain period of time, months, 
actually para lang i-process yung mga documents na yun. So, please do take note kasi nga, if ever nakaligtaan natin, and then, sayang. <laughs> sayang naman, di ba? So, please take note of this. So, guys, thank you so much for watching this video and hope you like this. And please subscribe to our channel and hit the notification bell para updated kayo sa mga bagong vlogs ko. And don't forget to follow us on our social medias para din updated kayo dun. <laughs> so, yun na. I'll see you on my next vlog. Bye!